All right, folks, John Renahan was a uh, field artillery officer in the U.S. Army uh, in Iraq, and uh, he's also been an attorney here in uh, New York City and uh, with the uh, Corporation Council. Now he is a, an author, his first novel, and it's called The Valley, and there it is on your TV screen. And, John, welcome, sir. Hi, right, thanks for having me. Pleasure to have you. Okay, so what, uh, what turned you into a novelist? Um, my kids turned me into a novelist. <laughs> Um, daddy write a novel, daddy write a novel? No, no, my, uh, I, uh, after I got out of the army, we had kids, um, you know, I used to read all kinds of heavy, you know, like serious, and then, you know, you have kids and you're too tired, you can't, you, know, you never sleep, and so the only, th the only thing I had the energy to read was, uh, you know, sort of page turning, I started reading detective novels and mystery novels and spy thrillers and that kind of thing. You got the bug. Uh, well, and, and yeah, and I was reading some really great sort of journalism about the Afghanistan war, and I sort of got what I thought was sort of a good idea. I thought I was just sort of transplanting the sort of police procedural into Afghanistan, and my editor says it's a war novel, so yeah, well, I it, guess it's it, a war it, novel. Yeah, well, that's what it is. I mean, it, it, you could tell by the cover, or you should be able to tell, but certainly uh, it, you take, the, there's this character who um, is uh, thrown into all of a sudden having to, to, to come, I guess, to f sort of seek out yeah. this, the most dangerous of all valleys, of all the dangerous valleys in, in Afghanistan, or one of the most dangerous. Sure. Yeah, sure. He's a, uh, he's a guy that, you know, he's got some baggage. He... He's young, sort of very young army officer, and he's had a bad experience in the past, and he's very disgruntled now and thinks he's on his way out the door, and he gets what seems like this ridiculous, trivial assignment right. and, you know, becomes sort of in spite of himself, sort of almost fixated on figuring out what's the truth of this valley, you know, on the American side and the Afghan side. Yeah, when, when, we, when, uh, when we talk about the, the war in Afghanistan, I can't help but think about, and I'm sure it's true in Iraq these days, if not when you were there, the rules of engagement sure. and how politically correct they have all become and how the hands of our, our men and women are tied, at least one is tied behind their, their backs when they, when they have to take on these people who have no mercy and have played by no rules. Sure, I mean, and I sort of drew on, on Iraq a little bit. We got so, you know, we got very careful. I was there in 2007, 2008, around the time of the surge, and, you know, we were really trying to partner with the Iraqis and help their security forces sort of stand up on their own two feet, you know, and, you know, their own security. So we got, you know, it's this counterinsurgency strategy, you know, David Petraeus was a general, and, you know, we're working very hard to sort of, you know, ally with the Iraqis, and so we got very careful you know, and I remembered being assigned to some of these investigations, you know, myself, where, you know, nobody really thinks anything's been done wrong, but, you know, you, uh, you, know, you fire some warning shots, you know, close to civilians, and you have to sort of check the block and go talk to people, make sure everything was okay, and so everybody drives it, it, on with it. Is their it day. impossible to win a war that way? I mean, if we fought World War II that way, uh, I wouldn't be here, and most people would be speaking German. I don't know, man. That's above my pay grade. I mean, we, you know... My soldiers definitely, they did their best. and I'm sure, know, and absolutely. We were all, I was really proud of what they did, you know, with our little corner of Iraq at that time because everybody was just trying to sort of fix the situation. And even though you were in Iraq, and this uh, revolves around, uh, obviously, Afghanistan, yeah. uh, you took your experiences, so there's a lot of, uh, a lot of real life in, in this, right? Yeah, I mean, the Army people are the same. Right. You know, it was more of a mountain story, so I put in Afghanistan. You know, I never experienced anything as bad as sort of, the worst day in this book, right. but you know, army people are the same wherever you go. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, to tell, give people a little little uh, hint about the valley. I mean, what's the significance of the? How bad is the valley? Um, it's a. Uh, it's set in the Nuristan province, which is a really sort of unique part of Afghanistan. I mean, the, yeah, the valley he's searching for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's a. Uh, you know, these are real places that we sent that we sent soldiers to. Right. It's just. It's not I think good. Not, let's just leave it at that. Yeah, it's not it's good. Not you a talk good place. about the worst day, and uh, I think people would be uh, fascinated to read it. I don't think you'll be able to put it down. Uh, it's uh, The Valley, very simple, uh, by John Renahan. And thank you. Good luck with it. Appreciate yeah, thanks you coming so on. Thank you for your service, of course. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that as well. All right, folks, uh, when we come back, it's that time of the hour. It's time for Gimme Five, and it's next right here on the Steve Malzberg Show, only on Newsmax Television. Don't go away.